Hello, bonjour. My name is Nell. I'm an exercise dive guide and a paddy rescue diver. And today I'm joined with my good friend Christy Freya, uh, who's gonna attempt to guess some scuba diving signs. Hi, my name is Christy Freya, and today I'm gonna be guessing a few scuba diving signs provided to me by crazy divers. So thank you so much for sending them to me, and I'm gonna have a go right now, and I'm not sure how well it's gonna go. So the first sign I asked her to guess was this one. Uh, this one can be as well a question and an answer. I feel like this, like it's just a universal okay sign, like it's okay. So when they say question and answer, it's like, is it okay? And then someone would reply, like, is it okay to go scuba diving now? Yes, okay, thanks. <laughs> That's exactly it. Um, we also say, are you okay to go down at the very beginning of a dive? Uh, which basically say, are you okay to go diving right now? Um, good job. Okay, the second sign is, and the bonus point, like kind of a clue, was. Okay, uh, for some reason this made me feel like it was meh, okay, but then it also made me think, um, Water, like a reference to the water, is the water, is the water meh, steady, safe meh, uh, and then the thing, um, I've, should I put my scuba diving eye protection things on? <laughs> the water is too vigorous today, I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't know. This is also an answer to this, if for some reason I'm not feeling great, I would say meh, that, that pass was good. Um, and because when you're underwater, you can't speak to each other, um, you have to point to what's not good. So if, for example, if you go, means I have a problem with my ear, which is quite a common problem for scuba divers. No matter what your level is, you might have trouble with your ear, um, balancing with the pressure. Because we are, you're underwater, the pressure of the water on your ear can be higher than what it is in the air. Um, so you can feel a slight compression. And when you start to feel that, you do have to do a maneuver. Usually you pitch your nose and exhale through it here to just uh, unlock your ear. And if that doesn't work, uh, you usually sign, I'm not okay with my ear. I need to stay at this level. Uh, because if you don't, you can uh, blow your ear, basically. Um, so that's one of the most common signs you will have underwater. Uh, if you have an issue with your mask, you will show your, your mask. Um, it could be simply as simple as um, water is in your mask, it's foggy, or stuff like that. But always try to point when you say I'm not okay. The next sign was this one. If someone did that to me, I'll, I would have no clue what they were saying at all, if I'm honest. Um, honestly, this could mean something very simple. I mean, they said it was like a question, so it could be like a, oh, um, <laughs> I don't know. Do you need more oxygen? <laughs> uh, are you breathing okay? The oxygen one was good. Um, I'm asking you how much air do you have? What I'm showing with my hand is the manometer that show how much uh, bar you've got left on your tank. Um, I did a video about how scuba diving works. You can go check uh, this out. You have air on your tank um, and it's compressed to fit in your bottle and you can measure how much air you got by measuring the pressure on your tank. Uh, you usually start at 300 bars and when you breathe, you, your pressure will go lower because there is less air compressed on it. This is very important to know how much time we got left uh, on the dive. You can also go up to me and say, I'm half tank, or I only have 50 bars left. Um, this is, these are very important signs to have underwater. If I don't know you have tank, I won't turn around. I usually ask at the beginning of the middle of the dive, uh, just to make sure how much time we got left on the water and how well everyone is handling. The next sign was this one. Well, like, uh... Okay, that's... 
that's different. <laughs> like a piece of equipment maybe that sort of links, sort of connects. Maybe th maybe that's what it's referencing to? Because it wasn't like dim dim dim. It was like dim dim. Okay, my guess is that it's a reference to a piece of equipment. So like, oh, so make sure you secure your whatever you re are required to wear while scuba diving. So that means Betty Up. Um, there is a link, uh, means two people keep together. We can have you to Betty Up uh, if we see you're too far away from your body. You should never be less than one meter away when the visibility is clear because if something happens, you need to be able to go to your body and say, I'm out of air or I have a problem. Uh, so you need to be secure together. If I see there is a big current or if I see um, I need to pause, something is happening, I would say, buddy up please, um, stay a bit closer. The next sign is one of my favorite one, is this one. Okay, that makes me think something, some, yeah, like that. <gasps> that makes me think of turtles, if yes, I Yes, it is. Because that would imply to me Personally, that would imply to me directly that there is a turtle on board and I wouldn't mind seeing a turtle. That implies turtle to me. So my guess is there's a turtle. There's a turtle. Be careful, please. If you didn't know, every marine creature has a sign in scuba diving. We usually have turtle, uh, shark, um, lobster. Uh, I use that one also with my p partner to uh, signal a uh, cowfish because that, these ones are one of my favorites. Um, a ray. Um, I think there is barracuda as well. Every dive site, every place in Earth have their own sign. We usually remind everyone what signs means at the beginning of the dive um, so that we're on the same page because I know um, some people like marine as well and that's different from each other. So just to make clear, Usually that's the total sign and that's a pretty common one. Honestly, my knowledge of scuba diving is very low. If someone were to ask me, what do you know? I would just be like, um, I know they wear eye protection and they have a tube that helps them breathe and that's pretty much it for me. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for sending them to me and I'm excited to know if I got them right or how many I got wrong or how many I was close to. I'm really hoping, however, this means turtle. Bye. Just a general point about scuba signs. These are very important signs to know um, because we can't speak underwater. We usually remind everyone of the signs in a dive briefing um, so that everyone is on the same page. And they are basically very straightforward. Uh, I mean, you can see that Christy did very well uh, with her guessing and she's never been diving. So that way even beginner can remember them very easily. Uh, I don't know if you guys have any special dive signs I have one uh, that is this one uh, when I'm training, which means try again. Uh, I know that one is not very common. Um, I think my dive instructor might have made it up, um, but that's good. That means the language is evolving and everyone can be a part of it. So if you have dive signs, please let me know. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I would love to make more collabs. Uh, if you're a scuba diver or if you just want to join this lovely place of the internet, uh, feel free to shoot me an email or go on my social medias uh, to the chat. Uh, I hope you like this kind of different video. If you want to see more scuba diving or travel, feel free to subscribe. Also, please go to Christy Freya's channel and she's an amazing human being. I'm so glad she accepted to be part of this video. Um, so go say hi for me, please. Okay, see you next time.